I'm Tiffany Fry, and I'm going to show you how to make a saddle seat bun when you have short hair. You can see my hair is pretty short, and I've used this technique when I've had even shorter hair where it's been shaved in the back. Um, all you need for this to work is enough hair around the crown of your head to clip extensions into. So let's get started. The first thing I do is I take some rough paste from Redken, and I just rub this in. I put a little bit on my hand, about this much. And it's kind of sticky. So I just rub this into the sides and along the back part of my hair, right on the sides here. And this will help the hairs all kind of stick together and not poke out from underneath your hat. Okay, then the next step is to put in a hairnet, and this will keep all of your hair together. I like to put my hairnets in with a knot at the top, right in the front here. That way they don't show. Sometimes if you, the knots are on the sides, they'll show. And you wanna make sure you catch all the hairs on the sides of your head, because these will stick out if you don't. They're hard to get in there, it's hard to get it perfect, but And then the extra hairnet, you want to get that into when you make your ponytail in a minute. So I usually take just a little bobby pin to hold this hairnet together. Otherwise, it will creep up on your head and you'll lose it. So I have a little, <laughs> a little hairnet ponytail right now. And then I take just a little clip barrette and I clip it in at the top of my head. This keeps the hairnet from pulling back too far. Okay, so the next step is to put in the extensions. I use three of them. I have two that are cut on an angle. You see this one, I'm holding the clips towards me and it goes down from left to right. And then the other one, the clips towards me, you can see it goes down in the other direction. And then I have a third piece, which is fairly straight across and it's a bit shorter. And I'll explain in a second why they're cut the way they are and how to cut them. These all started out, I think these were 16 inch hair extensions to start with. And I use um, real hair and these are nice and thin, so it's not gonna affect your hat. Your head's not gonna feel tighter. All right, so I, the first one I put in is the short one that's even, and that goes in on the back of your head. And you wanna think about where your hat brim is gonna sit. You want this to be higher than that, because you don't want the clips underneath the brim of your hat that will hurt. So I put this in right about here. You want it long enough that it can get into your ponytail that you're gonna make. Then the next two go in along the crown of your head. So I'm gonna put this one in first. And you want the long end in the center and the short end by the ear. And that's because the longer piece, it's got further to go to get to the ponytail where this has a much shorter distance to go. So I always hold it with the clips away from me and then flip it. And then I put it in. When you're putting these in, try and keep the hairnet in front so that you can use it to keep your little flyaways tucked in. Okay, so now the next step is to make our ponytail. So I'm gonna find 
the hairnet in the back. My first thing I do, I pull out that little pin. And then I make sure this hairnet is around these little side hairs. And I hold the hairnet tight while I gather the rest of the extensions and pull all that into a ponytail. I like to keep my ponytail as low as I can at the very, very base of my hairline because when you put in the piece and when you put in the little wiglet to make your bun, it actually is higher than the ponytail and you don't want that interfering with your hat brim. So now I have a nice ponytail and this is how I determine the length for those extensions. When I first bought the extensions, I did this. I put everything into the ponytail and then I cut them. And it, it cut the longer ones on an angle and I cut this top one straight across. It's not an exact science, but it works pretty well. Then my next step is the wiglet. And you can get these at Sally's or any wig store. They have a net on the inside and two little clips. And they usually have a drawstring where you can pull this tight. So you want to first give it a little combing. You want it all to lay down nice and flat. And this makes a really nice bun, especially after you've used it as much as I have. It tends to want to just make a bun all by itself. <laughs> so that's a nice thing about them. Now you want these two clips to be as close to your rubber band as possible. And then you find the drawstring. Can't find it. Yeah, there we go. So you find your little drawstring and you pull it tight. That just tightens everything up. And the next step is to make the actual bun. So when I make a bun, the first thing I do is I take another hairnet and I put it in and I crisscross it above the bun and then I go around the hair. That kind of preforms the bun. I'll give it one more gentle combing. You can see this wiglet tends to go crooked. It likes to go higher on this side. It's just the way the hair is. Okay, and then the hairnet. Then I'll look at it again and try and smooth out the hair as much as I can before I really start working on the bun. And then the next part is making the bun. So when I when I do this, um, don't use hairpins. I don't like using hairpins, these little guys. 
<clears throat> because you don't have any real hair, there's nothing for these to stick into. I just use regular bobby pins. And when you put these in, you want to make sure as many of them stick into your rubber band as possible. And you'll probably do this a hundred times before you put your hat on, just to keep your little flyaways in. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with the bun. Hopefully this will turn out. To put one or two at the top of the bun too just to hold the wiglet in place. flyaways they still want to stick out a little bit so I just put a bobby pin in there I try to get it caught up into the hairnet just to help secure it and then of course you would hairspray the heck out of that and you're good to go